Uh, in what was before that before getting into the viva just rehearse in a short time this is uh, dr suresh professor of microbiology uh, i'll give a nutshell what is gonococci and its clinical importance <coughs> gonococci is a gram negative intracellular diplococci kidney shaped concave and facing each other and uh, it's one of the sexually transmitted disease std sexually transmitted disease and in male it gives rise to acute painful gonococcal urethritis it sends up it gives it infects the uh, acute gonococcal urethritis seminal vesical epidermis and arthritis periurethral organs are also involved and periurethral organs gives rise to multiple uh, discharging sinuses it is called as water can fistula and in gays when they have anal sex it gives rise to proctitis so from there it can migrate to, through the blood it can give rise to gonococcal arthritis endocarditis sometimes rarely meningitis so if the people have oral sex it can give rise to gonococcal pharyngitis now in females it gives rise to vaginitis cervicitis salpingitis endometritis ophritis so one of the important causes of infertility because gonococcal salpingitis gives rise to blockage of the tube and uh, that's why we ask the history of uh, uh, gonorrhea in the past when people come for in vitro fertilization for blocked tube so gonococci please remember sexually transmitted disease kidney shape intracellular gram negative diplococci sexually transmitted disease gonococcal urethritis laboratory diagnosis you have to collect urethral discharge or her high cervical swab and do the gram staining it shows uh, gram negative intracellular diplococci and it is grown on blood agar and chocolate agar and uh, it's very important to treat gonococcal urethritis both husband and wife should be as a unit should be treated both sexual partner should be treated and uh, nowadays gonococci also started uh, producing uh, beta lactamase uh, resistant to penicillin nowadays uh, quinolones are administered so please remember in nutshell staphylococci gram positive cocci uh, arranged in clusters looks like grape streptococci gram positive cocci arranged in chain looks like chain uh, pneumococci lanceolate or flame shaped product facing each other two cocci enclosed in single capsule meningococci plano convex plain surface facing each other and gonococci kidney shaped and concave and facing each other so please remember be confident answer in oeva that finishes our five important pathogenic cocci that gives rise to human infection cephalococci pus producing lesion streptococci against pus producing lesion cephalococci toxin induced toxic shock syndrome food poisoning superficial skin scalded syndrome streptococci acute glomerular nephritis and acute rheumatic fever pneumococci pneumonia and meningitis gonococci gonorrhea sexually transmitted disease meningococci meningitis thank you very much